<laughs> These motherfuckers are not playing around. Grandson took her arm and asked her Grandma was wrong, what happened to Grandpa? The film with the throat still won't move In the river between the odds starts to flow faster Fifteen when they met in a small town On the outskirts of a city that was worn down She recalls climbing up that hill To catch a glimpse of the world from an outside perspective Fred always said he would love to teach her how to fly He was scared to death of what her dad would do if she died He held her in there but let go They fell deep in love with each other the nursing home. Fred laid in bed, stayed fed with tools so she would read him poems. He always told her courage is to face your fear, even though he hadn't recognized her aging face for years. She didn't give in though, she knew that even though he had a hole in his brain, it wasn't safe for him to stay alone. So every day she noticed all the roses in the vase with a ring away and hoped and prayed that there would maybe life is mine. Looked up at her, she couldn't help to ignore her daughter and son-in-law in the other room arguing about something that didn't matter. She told them both not to move and picked up her husband's glasses, tried them on. She said, she said, why? Because I'd like to share with you how your father liked to look at life. Her daughter, stubborn and sad, held the glasses in her hand. She sat them all down on the couch, and this is what she said. Your father probably would have liked for me to tell you that the night when you were born was a night that he put down the bottle. If you ever get in a fight with someone you love, know that if they die before apology, you wouldn't live to see tomorrow. Never know what's going to come. When it goes, it's hard to cope. Never run from what you know controls emotional reactions when you take your anger out on someone else. It's only an escape from looking inside of yourself and taking them for granted. Life is but a miracle. All you know is fading slow. Never know.